Thrown in. Rough hit again. Rocking. Beaten by McIntosh. There's a big mark over the back from Big Hank McIntosh. We saw this guy kick seven. He lays it off Thomas with the outside of the boot. Hi guys, this is my personal best for the top ten ruckmen who have played over the last 25 years. Before I start, I'd like to give an overall mention to Stephen King, being a massive Cat supporter as a kid. He was a great player, but unfortunately I couldn't squeeze him in the top ten. And for Polly Farmer, although it was probably past 25 years ago, absolute champion player. I was a massive Cat supporter at the time and I just knew he was an absolute champion player. The number ten to start off with is, is Brad Ottens. Obviously from the Richmond Football Club and then went to Geelong. Started as a forward and then came to Geelong as a ruckman solely. Love the responsibility of, of just being that number one big man. And the thing I loved about Brad was that he was just a big player in the big games and he was a massive player in their premierships. Performed really well on the big stage. I remember the prelim final against Collingwood when he signally handily got him over the line and won the game for him. So never frightened to get his knees dirty and I just had a lot of respect for him as a player. Throw in in the pocket. Bomber Thompson can't do much now. Adler gets through. He can do plenty. Books it back. How about that? Just watch this tap by Ottenzo. Beautiful tap. Adler just able to push off his direct opponent. Knew exactly what he was doing. Able to screw the ball back off again. Only one clear hand on that ball, and that was Ottens. It's gone into the centre bounce because Brad Ottens, that's his third hit out to advantage in a row. Ottens, what a move! Will he ever come down? That's a beauty. Oh. Oh. How good's that? Uh, number nine, big spider Everett. Started at St Kilda, obviously, and then went to Hawthorne and Sydney. The thing I remember about big spider is an incredible tap ruckman, but the fondest memory having was that every time he, he'd go out to the wing by himself, he was never frightened to hit a kick on his lethal left foot, and he had great skills for a big guy. A three-time All-Australian, just a fantastic player and yeah, just a great ruckman to go down in, in history is one of the best. Back towards Spider Everett, playing it out in front. The big fella, the blind turn, onto the left foot. Oh. Has he done it? From the centre circle, inside 50. Big pack gathers. Everett! Sensational. Proud. Had a great season last year. Kicks well inside the forward 50. How's that? Brilliant half volley. Everett deserving of a goal. Number eight, uh, big Brendan Laid at, uh, at Port Adelaide. I was lucky enough to play a few games against Brendan and he always took the chocolates against me. But the thing I remember most about Brendan was his incredible tap work. He was, um, the relationship we had between him and his midfielders, especially the Bergen brothers, was just sensational. And some of their clearances they had through their successful years was just outstanding. It was all due to Brendan, not only to his tap work, but the chemistry he had with, with his midfielders. And, I just had a lot of respect for him as a player and yeah, he was a champion of Ruckman of a decade. Brendan Lade's the target and collects it. Kind of it was Lade's just a quality tall man, he was always going to mark and, that. And you said, Jason, a percentage kick. Fair grab too, we forgot about Goes for the spiral punt kick <laughs> right <laughs> to the goal front and Brendan Lade has launched it from 70 metres. Number seven uh, for the Bulldogs, big Scotty Wind. The thing I loved about Scotty Wind was that he just played with heart. It was all passion. He, he led the Bulldogs from the front. And when you thought of Footscray at the time, you automatically thought of, of big Scotty Wind and his big heart of just leading that club from the front. And he was incredibly mobile for a guy his size. And in a time where it was tough, it was always a midfielder's medal for, for a ruckman to come out and win the Brownlow as he did. It's just a tremendous effort. And, you could have a lot of respect for guys done that and just a tremendous footballer. I've got a whole deal of respect for Scotty Wine and he goes down as one of the great ruckmen of all time. Holding it up now, Lample. Eventually long towards the top of the square. Pack form, Wine. Excellent work. Scotty Wine is He's an excellent, a great player for that beautiful loose. So Wine bustles in, takes the ball, charges away the big blow. Oh, Scotty Wine. Number six, Corey McKernan. Uh, obviously started at North, went to Carlton for a little bit, then come back to, to the great club in North. Big ball, just a big, aggressive man. Just um, loved the challenge, a big stage performer. Could take a great grab and would be perfect in today's footy. Can play forward, can play ruck. 
just plays like an under and baller. And I remember in one of the finals, he had 28, 30 possessions in a grand final, nearly best on ground. So he's just a fantastic player, aggressive. I had a lot of time working under Corey when, he was at, when I was at North and he was there at the same time. Just a tremendously big player. And I guess you look at him now, he should have been a Brownlow medalist. So again, not an easy feat coming from a Ruckman. So yeah, just a, a great player. And yeah, I was lucky enough to play under him and I've got to hold your respect for Corey. Bounce of the night then. Not a particularly good one. McKern and thumps it down towards half forward. Big roar, runs in. So they concur. Wilman with McKernan. Oh, oh, gee, that's a snap. Oh, oh don't oh. tell me he's kicked it. Oh, Gary Everett eats your heart out. What a goal. <laughs> Marking contest in the goal square. Oh, oh. Has he kicked it? He has. Couldn't well look, but gee, agility for a big man, tremendous. Uh, number five, big Aaron Sandilands. Obviously, the man mountain himself. Still playing around now, and Aaron's just a tremendous athlete for, for a guy his size. And you think when you're going, you're playing against him, you think, well, he's so big that you could probably try and run him around. But Aaron's running capacity is just as good as his strength, so you can't really find too many weaknesses in his game. So he's just such a dominant force now. And I've noticed in the last two or three years in the game, he's taken his game to that next level where if he's on, he's literally the difference on the field between winning and losing. If he's having a bad game, then you're in the balance, but if Aaron's on, it usually means that Fremantle are going to win the game, and there's just no saying it because he's just such a big, demanding presence out in the ground. So, with a guy that, with a guy like that, he's just such a dominating ruckman, and you have to you have to respect him and go into games and probably try and take a step ladder out and and try your best. So, yeah, when he's on, he's just a, a fantastic player to watch. Aaron's all on his own on this side. The same like to go safe. Broughton goes for the contest. Sanderlands, strong, like a big gorilla, just ripped it in. Quick play on Hill, hacks it forward and nails the goal. And that's the sort of tap, Shuri, that uh, oh. Ross Lyon has been looking for. He thought he was going to have to wait for Christmas Day to get one like this. Oh. But there it is. And if it can happen once, brilliant stuff there from Aaron Sanderlands. Number four, big Justin Madden, started at uh, Essendon with his brother. Then went to Carlton. Uh, big Harry Madden. I uh, just, uh, I guess everyone kind of remember Justin as the larrikin out on the field and always having a laugh. And you know, it was a bit of a stage show sometimes, really. But I think people forget of actually how good of a player he was and how good of a tap ruckman he was. And the relationship he had with Williams and Ratton and those guys was just first class. And when Carlton successful years through the 90s, you know, Justin Madden was the main reason because that because he's just putting it down their throats. So. Still a fondest memory I remember of him was the time he took that bounce, ran away from Sean Ren, I believe it was, and took a couple of bounces and kicked that goal. And I never met, remember laughing so high that day, but just had a amount of respect for him, the way he kicked that goal. But yeah, just a fantastic player and, and really one of the great tap ruckmen of the, of, of the modern era. It's been pretty quiet. His left footer, oh, Madden is 30 metres in the clear. Wren giving chase, Ooh. what a sprint, this is something to watch, Madden goes long for goal, he might have kicked it, Whoa. sensational! I have never seen the like of it. Smith, ball paddled back by McKenzie, over it goes to Madden, picks it up, shrugs one tackle, gets around another, and another, oh, Madden! Uh, number three, uh, Jimmy Steins from Melbourne. Oh, obviously Jimmy Steins, you know, what can you say, absolute legend of the game and will leave an impact on the game for, for history. So just a fantastic story, a guy to come out of Ireland and, and come out and really play a way in the ruck that no one had ever played in that way before, to come out and play as an extra on baller and have incredible endurance and then start rucking up the possessions and, and playing like an extra midfielder that, yeah, as I said before, no one had really seen before. And, to come out and take the game on and have the background like he had from Ireland was just, was just tremendous. And to win a Brownlow medal, be named the best player in the competition from, the, from where he'd come from, where he'd come to Melbourne. I believe he, he got sacked and had to go away and play in a local league and then come back and, and then do it the hard way. And then to come out, be named the best player in the competition is just a fantastic effort. So just a, a great endurance athlete. I've heard stories about him just running opponents off his legs and, I guess in today's footy, he'd be perfect because you played as a, a sole ruckman, you need incredible endurance, and, and Jim obviously had that. So, yeah, just a great player. 
sense of urgency suddenly in this Hawthorne outfit. Steins in from the side. Not quite Finally. the time. A pack all around him. Steins over the top. Dominating so much. They are pinpointing their passes superbly. Maintaining possession. And the Bears when they get goals. Steins! Oh! Jimmy, I didn't think you could get that high off the ground. Uh, number two, Simon Madden from uh, Essendon. I didn't get to see too much of Simon play. It was, it was a little bit before my time and I was obviously the, probably a baby still kicking around in nappies. But I guess when I look back through Simon's record, it, it, it's fantastic. He was Essendon's leading goal kicker three or four times. He was named in their um, team of the century. Just a fantastic player. And to play 378 or 80 odd games and play as forward as a ruck, he'd just be perfect in today's footy because you need to be able to play both positions. And, He'd just be, yeah, he'd be great to have an outside, I know that, and he'd be great with the sub rules. So, but looking back through his, uh, yeah, through his history, just a tremendous record, a great tap ruckman, one of the great successful brother partnerships that he had with him and Justin, and he will go down as one of the greats of the footy club and one of the greats of the game. And yeah, I'll probably now wish I got to see more of him play because from what everyone tells me, he's just an absolute fantastic player to watch. Have gone in the second term. There's the knockout knocked out by Madden. He's dominated the knockout. The Swans lead by only 11 points now after that goal by Watson and crashed away by Madden again. Round certainly out ruck today, but Madden has been probably the best ruckman in the VFL this year. Look at that for a punch away. We thought earlier in the day he might be too far out. He's going to play on around Irving. Drop punt. Oh, don't tell me. What a kick! Unbelievable. And number one, uh, Dean Cox from West Coast. Yeah, big Dean. He's got a very, very good record against me in the last probably six or seven games. I think he's averaging about yeah, six best ons. So I pretty much have to definitely name him number one, but in saying that he is number one, he's, he's revolutionised the ruck game, the ruck role. He's just an incredible athlete. He's a and not take away from his ruck work. He's a great tap ruck with the relationship he has with his on ballers, but his endurance, the way he can just runs his opponents off his legs and just rack up midfielder like possessions, 25 to 30 a game, and his skills are just exquisite. So there's no real weaknesses in his game. And his strength, I think, been, has now been how, over four or five years, he just keeps backing it up year after year and just show he's the best player or best ruckman in the game. So. There's no doubt in my mind that he's the best ruckman of the last 25 years. He's changed the way that ruckman play. He's changed the ruck role. And I'm sure most ruckmen out there in the AFL now would be looking in some way to have a bit of Dan Cox in their game. To Fletcher, to Cox, who's run away from Fraser. Cox works his way to 50. He goes for home, and that is a magnificent goal. Butler kicks quickly, touched off the boot, was it? Play on, Cox. Nimble skills from the big man. And he's kicked a wonderful goal! Chicks cramped up off the side of the plate. It's picked up by Embley. Embley points one long off hands. Oh. Kept in play. Cox oh. takes him on. Oh. Turns him 